So I'm going to tell some more anecdotes of the things that inmates do. So one thing that they're often, many of them are often looking for are a prescription for some kind of narcotic or pain pill, whether they want to use them themselves or whether they want to use them for currency. So they'll come into the clinic or emergency and they'll claim that they have horrific back pain or some kind of pain and they can't move and they can be pretty convincing. So you start them off maybe with Tylenol or something and say, you know, come back in a couple of days. But anyway, then we watch them when they leave the clinic. We'll see them on the walkway through the window, twirling their canes and high-fiving their friends. Like, come on, we know you're not really having back pain. And the thing about using them for currency is that we don't just give them a bottle of narcotics and they go on their merry way. So when they get pain medicine, I mean, not all of them, I'm just talking about the ones that aren't legitimate. Um, so when they get them, they cheek them, even though we watch them, but they have really amazing skills. And then as soon as somebody's not looking, they'll take the pill out of their mouth and put it in their pocket. Then they'll take it to the yard or wherever, and then they'll um, sell it or trade it or whatever it is they do with that. But I'm just thinking like, how desperate does somebody have to be to take something that's been in somebody else's mouth that you don't even know? Somebody in a jail. I mean, in the jail, there's like several kinds of hepatitis floating around. Another thing that we've seen more than once is imagine having a patient that has a tunneling wound or a bed sore. That's something that goes deep inside you and we have to treat those wounds daily. We have to pack them and it's a lot of work. So imagine being a nurse diligently packing somebody's wound every day and wondering why it's never getting any better. Why is this thing not healing? We're being so diligent about it. So you know why? Maybe, and this has happened, Maybe an inmate is putting some of his own feces in his wound to constantly reinfect it so that it never heals up because you have to have some place to hide your tobacco. So here's another. Nurses can often tell if you're faking a seizure or not. Um, I'm not going to say how though because I'm not going to give away any trade secrets. So there was a guy one time and he was constantly faking seizures. It was very obvious to us. He was scheduled to be deported but he couldn't get deported, he couldn't leave the jail because of these uncontrollable seizures. And then one day he found out that he wasn't gonna be deported after all. And then miraculously, his seizure disorder went away. On a lighter note, a diabetic inmate was eating in the medical unit one time and he had three pieces of cake on his plate right in front of him and a fork in his hand. So I noticed this as I walked by and I said, what are you doing with all that cake? You're diabetic. And he says, what makes you think it's my cake? He answered, clearly he had experience with evidentiary standards. Well, I said, how about the fact that it's on your plate? And then he tried to tell me that he was holding it for someone. I told him, you know, that circumstantial evidence benefit of the doubt thing might work in court, but it's not going to apply with me. That's yours and we both know it. And he knew there couldn't be any punishment for eating cake, so he fessed up. I loved being a prison nurse. Most of the time it was low key, but when things happened, they were always interesting. Plus, everyone thinks that you're really brave and cool for working in prison. But really, we were safer there than a nurse in a hospital or especially in the ER. We always had officers around, and if any of the inmates tried anything with us, they'd be sorry. But most of the time they were polite to the medical staff because they knew we were there to help them. And most of us really tried our best to help them. And they appreciated that, and they treated us respectfully. You get what you give.